Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 39 and we start off with just having to clear some uh, some wool from the sheep area. When we uh, slept last night and we woke up this morning we got the message that there was no space available so He's probably going to have to clear it morning and evenings just to make sure that it's that we're getting maximum productivity out there. In any case, let's go and pick up those the six um, pallets and we'll get them into the clothing factory. I'll be able to check up to see if there's any clothing there as well. Should be. Let's pick these up. Nice and easy. Strap them in. There's seven, so it's not too bad. So a quick glance, yeah, there's plenty of food still hanging around there. I think we'll be able to sell milk today, uh, this month. If you recall in the last episode, or the last time we delivered milk, it's pretty much full, so we'll sell all the milk. I'm trying to get together a fair amount of money, because at the end of this episode, we're going to have to go back to the bank, have a chat with them. Stick around, find out what we're going to chat about. Let's get these in. There's pineapple juice waiting to be collected as well. Get those sold. Nice, that's done. Let's go around, pop around to the front. And, or to the other side, should I say. Pick up... Uh, the clothing that we've got there waiting to be collected. Well, we don't want to go through the field. The only thing with this little John Deere is that it's a bit slow to get going with the trailer on. But it's okay for around the farm. Might up 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 upgrade to the John Deere Gator somewhere along the line. But for now, it's working okay. Right, let's just set this to auto load. I think it's only two pallets. Right, let's just get these two pallets picked up. I think we'll go and put them in the pallet storage for now. just to keep them here. I, I think it will get a good price for them this month but we'll, we'll check that out a bit later. Let's just get this cleared out. I suppose we could have left them there actually. We've got lots of uh, fruit juice to go into the juicing factory. We'll collect those after we've dropped these off. Put them into the juice factory. We'll be able to start producing orange juice. Somewhere during the course of this month we need to re-look at what we're producing in the greenhouses. We're producing far too, too many um, tomatoes at the moment. We may have to um, think about putting up another exotic fruit greenhouse for the pineapples. Just because we've got the juice factory now, they can. If we don't need pineapples for the for the pizzeria, we can. 
put it into the juice factory so just got to find a, a spot for it now might be able to fit in next to one of these not quite sure we'll have a look at that at, towards the end of this month maybe in the next episode now I'm going to go around the front because the last couple of times when I've been down near the tomatoes we've just managed to <laughs> load the tomatoes as well any event we don't want that for now don't really want to fit one in there because it blocks off the I'm talking about a greenhouse now for pineapples I was thinking it might be able to fit in on the side but I, I don't want to block off that top shed might be that we just uh, put it up in well don't really want to do that either I was going to say put it in the production area we need to build a road through there it's going to be it's going to be a access point that's for sure <laughs> let's get these offloaded Fairly slow offloading at the factories, but well, I suppose not really, but still. Right, let's go and pick up the. Well, let's first of all get uh, the orange juice and lemonade active. So, lemonade yeah, needs lemons. Lemons and sugar. We did buy some sugar earlier on. I think about five pallets. See how long that lasts. Hopefully it'll last long enough until we get the sugar beet in and producing sugar there. Don't know how many pallets are going to be. There should be quite a few. We did put quite a few pineapples in. I did notice the pineapples had all been utilised, so Yeah, so that's a reasonable amount. We can get those sold. We'll take them into our farm shop. Get them sold there. We try and sell a lot of our product now through the farm shop, I think. We'll still check up the prices if it's substantially higher elsewhere. We'll do our deliveries down for the pizza and all that type of stuff into town. Don't want to totally miss out on going into town. Let's go and see how much we get for this. It'll be reasonable, I think. Won't be mayonnaise esque. So the delivery of this is just slightly to the side of the farm shop. This farm shop is actually bringing in quite a bit of income now. It uses a lot of milk whenever we can get it to there. It's going up quite nicely. Just the last one. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's decent income for. I think it was nine pallets or ten pallets of uh, pineapples. 
Yeah, better than selling them straight to the market. Can't complain about that. Right, let's have a look and see if, yeah, clothes, 18,000, that's about the top of the market for clothing, so we'll go and pick up those two pallets of clothes and we'll sell it through our farm shop as well. Yeah, the speed of that is starting to frustrate me a little bit now. <laughs> so we'll we'll look at that a bit later. <laughs> I was just thinking as we were driving up there, it was very slow. There we go, we've got the two pellets out. Should bring in about... Well, 30 odd thousand. Was it 18, 1836, 37,000-ish? Just activate the autoload. Nice. So that was just, yeah, one month's production. But we will... It's probably only deliver maybe once a year, so it's probably be once maybe twice a year well, we'll just see you know if it's if it's above 18,000 we'll deliver it if it's below we'll store it so we'll just check it out every now and again there you go. it's a nice bit of income right now it's time to start looking at our fields so we've definitely got a weed I think we'll just go and park this up. Oh, before we do that, let's go and just deliver the milk, get some more income in, make the money first, and then then go and spend it. Although we've most probably still got quite a bit of fertilizer and herbicide in the storeroom, so we'll use that first, of course. I think there's about just under 30,000 litres worth of milk. We'll put that through the farm shop. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. See how much we get for this now. Are we on the right? Yep, we on the on the lorry. Just pull it forward a little bit. There we go. We're in the trigger now. Get that delivered. Then once we've done that, we'll start working on the. On the fields. So there's basically there's two, there's three fields that need to be looked at. It's the potato field. We'll check that out, but I suspect we can fertilize that as well. So it's the one we've just bought last month, I think. Could have been the month before. But we're about to put fertilizer in there um, just to bump up the production of that field um, definitely ah. needs weeding and then the two sugar beet fields that we planted will both need weeding as well 
So we'll take you through that in a mixture of uh, of uh, um, oh, what do you call it now? <laughs> a mixture of um, of jump cuts and speed ups or time lapses because they are big fields and we're also going to invest in a, another piece of a equipment we will be looking to buy we do have the John Deere sprayer and I'm not sure what the um, spray attachment is that we have whether it's for herbicide or for fertilizer so we'll have to get that checked out and then we'll buy the whichever one is missing so to speak we will purchase so that we've got one attachment for fertilizer and one for herbicide but let's just go and have a look at this field just make sure that it does need that we are well that would be worth fertilizing Yeah, we won't do the liming. As I said, I don't like to lime once um, we have product, or we have uh, um, we have crop in the field. Couldn't think of the word crop there for a while. <laughs> in any case, so what we're going to do is I'm going to sell our old sprayer. It'll bring in a little bit of money to help with the purchasing of the new spray attachment for this John Deere so let's just take this to the workshop and just check and see exactly what attachments we have on so we'll just pop it in here we'll jump out and have a look and see see what we have so the herbicide one I think I would have put the spot spray attachment on so we don't need the spot spray, spray attachment for um, fertilizing we need it for herbicide there yeah so that has the weed spot spraying so this will be the weeding one I want to fertilize first so let's go and find a place to park this to offload this and then we'll purchase the um, it's essentially the same piece of equipment but it won't have the spot spray on the weed spot spray on and we will then be able to um, to put fertilizer in that and get that potato field fertilized to jump the production up substantially So it is quite a big piece of equipment so it's going to take quite a bit of space which is quite useful in the in these um, sheds because you do have the two doors still got a little bit of space on the right hand side there not needed just yet and then we'll park the other one in the other shed the same sort of well we'll just leave it on the tractor bench on the I suppose you can call it a tractor on this on the spray delivery vehicle. <laughs> right, it's kind of there. It is there. So we'll put yeah the extra capacity on. It's only slightly more, but it does help. And we won't put the weed spraying, the weed spot spraying on. No? Just buy it as is. And that'll be our fertilizer spray attachment. It's quite expensive, but it saves a huge amount of time in spraying. And we'll get onto that uh, potato field and get the spray started.
So first things we need to get some um, fertilizer in there. So we'll just pop on down to the store. Should be some liquid fertilizer in here. I don't know whether it'll fill it up, but it'd be I think there's at least one full IBC. Just be careful because the herbicide and the and the fertilizer both have red tops on them. Yeah, liquid fertilizer. Let's get those out to the sprayer, get them loaded up. Bit of work for the young Heinrich. Seems to be its only job now. There will always be bits and pieces left over, so there'll always be work for it. Handles two of them quite easily. And then once once we've loaded this we will know how much we need to buy. Because I think we'll I'm pretty sure it'll use more than a full load of uh, it's a big big field of yeah. so I'm pretty sure it'll use more than a full load of um, of fertilizer. It won't use a full load of uh, herbicide, but certainly fertilizer definitely will Let's get that filled up. Right, it worked out quite well because it'll be pretty much full after another IBC, so we only need to, to buy one to start with. As I said, I have a feeling we may have to top up, but I don't think it'll be more than another one. But we'll just buy the one for now. Maybe we get around, we don't know. I think there'll be a little bit of wastage on the fertilizer just because the crop is pretty well grown so it's going to be a little bit difficult to see exactly where we go. Oh! Just stubbed my toe while I was recording there. <laughs> In any case. Let's go and buy another IBC. Well, not not the IBC. We want the fertilizer that's in there. Doesn't really matter which one. Always nice to have a choice, I suppose. Cost the same. It'd be quite nice if these prices actually fluctuated. It's probably the mod that can do that. Look into that for one of the future let's plays that we do. So just about to be done and we'll get started. Let's head on out to the field. There we go. So we'll do the headland. start off just normally and I'll speed it up until we've done a headland then we'll jump cut to, to the end. Do the headland just to give you a feel of the shape of the field. We have worked it before so it's probably do do to know a bit. Also a feel of the uh, of the width of the sprayer and how quickly it works. The other good thing about it is it works at a at a pretty good pace. It's 20 k's an hour. It makes all the difference. 
that with 40 foot width yet so it really makes short work of this part of the operation fertilizing and uh, all the additional fertilizing and uh, the herbicide or the weeding and while we have this so we always wait for the weeds to grow out just because it's quicker more expensive but quicker right so that's the headland done let's go and get started on another another lap so to speak so of course we can't see I use the little map in the bottom left hand corner just to give an indication of where where we need to start spraying again that's why I say this it's probably going to be a little bit of wastage because um, it's going to be a bit of overlapping compared to when we do the herbicide which you can really see where it, where it goes in any case we'll jump cut to the end here we are we're just finishing off we did have to replenish put in another IBC used about half of it but we can go and park this off in the shed I think just a couple of little spots that I want to clear up you can still see the red down the centre there we'll just go and touch that up Thin, a thin slither might be another little spot down there just going to get that as well I think that's pretty much done then yep that looks like it it might be the odd little spot that's missed but it's not too bad pretty negligible if we have missed anything can't see anything shouldn't really be traipsing around the field like this right let's fold that up and uh, we'll go and put it away just went on there to see if there was any left <laughs> emptied it all out didn't really need to that because it was there wasn't anything left I did think I was only going to use about half but didn't realize we had a little bit more to do than it seemed off this load off <laughs> let's offload this into one of the sheds I think we can put it into this one I think and we'll go and uh, connect up the other spray and we'll do all the herbiciding all the weeding don't know if there's a word such a word as herbiciding it's probably not <laughs> oh dear so the sheds are working out quite nicely because we get a lot of the equipment it can be accessed through the side through the side door and then um, we can park we can well, park up our sprayer and the spray attachments on the front door let's get this up and loaded I 
think we've got quite a bit of uh, herbicide. Not sure whether we'll need to top up. I think we should get just about a full load out of it. Not sure, staying under correction because of course a lot of those um, RBCs could be, could just have scraps in them really. We're going to find out. for the young Hendrik. So I think all of these are herbicide now. That one's herbicide and that looks full for a full tank, so we'll take that out. Come on. Offload. <laughs> That's me. Didn't put it down properly. There we go. That's it done. So that doesn't look like a full one, the bottom one doesn't look full. Not sure about the top one. So let me show you what's in the bottom one. So yeah, it may be just a lot of scraps. I think there's another one still as well. Maybe two, not sure. Didn't really take much notice. Just the one more. No, that's fertilizer. Don't know why I kept on taking it out, but a smidgen of fertilizer in there. I'm doing this as a voiceover so I must probably didn't realize at the time. But I think I found out. <laughs> Off. So yeah, I don't think we're going to get a full load out of that lot. We might still have to buy some more. Let's check it out.
it's not off it's not far off I think it'll be okay let's just put this away it's only got 32 liters in it so it's very light we'll just push it into the into the storeroom <laughs> get started on the on the weeding once again we'll uh, we'll do the headland and then we'll jump cut to the end of the weeding of this first field we'll do the headland on a bit of a time lapse as well As you can see straight away, you can see exactly where you have uh, spread the herbicide. In this case, it goes brownish because we can see more more of the soil. So this makes it much easier, much more efficient, and of course we spot spraying, so that's going to be good for our environmental score as well it's another reason why I wanted to to weed helps out with the environmental score whereas the liming doesn't really Well, that's the headland just about done. We'll just go and set off on the next lap and then we'll jump cut to the end. Just this last little bit to do. So we're going to have to go and fill up this to just about everything that we've we've got there. It's surprising how big this field is. It does take a lot of a lot of input, but I think we're gonna have potatoes coming out of our ears once this is ready to harvest. We'll have to lease the equipment to harvest it, of course. So we can just park this off in one of the sheds. We'll just park it off as it is. We don't need to take the back off. Just leave it on the... on the delivery vehicle. So just driving past the empty space in that little in production area. I think a uh, sugar mill will go up there. Definitely. There was something else, I've forgotten what it is now. It'll come back to me over time. Oh, the other one was the the potato chip factory. Or the potato processing factory. The problem with the, with the French fry production is that our oil producing um, our oil production unit is in town so we're going to have to up and down a bit but we do have a lot of canola that has been produced um, not all mm, we're going to have a fair amount left over so it will be worth bringing that we'll have to just find a 
suitable um, transport trailer for it. Right, let's get these two um, sugar beet, yeah, sugar beet fields weeded. These areas that don't need weeding, but we'll do the whole lot. We'll do the two fields together. We'll do the whole job on a time lapse so that you can see how it's going. It's not going to take too long. It takes longer to unfold than to actually dispense the, the herbicide. we go starting off also very easy to see where we've been in this case because the crop is very low so you can see the the weeds disappearing of course it's a very strange shaped field it's a little bit squarer this one Of course, this is a, uh, the planting is a month behind on this one and on the other one, so I think it'll be quite good for harvesting. So we won't have to harvest at all at exactly the same time, but it'll be more or less at the same time. So it'll be some in one month and another in the next month. Well, the top field in one month and the bottom one in the next month might consider joining these fields up but we'll see it's quite useful to have a couple of small fields like this that you can do bits and pieces with depends how much we need when you know for the productions at the end of the day and there we go just about finished little bits of just a little bit more to do and that's that done so that's the field husbandry stuff pretty much done and dusted for this month we'll head on back up park this up and then we'll head on down to town because I want to go to the bank and whilst we're down the bank we can also collect uh, any product that's down there. There should be some mayonnaise down there. There should be some butter and cheese as well from the dairy. Could look to. I'm just thinking. We could look to um, to seeing whether we can or need to put in a or can put in, and whether it would be lucrative to put in a dessert factory because we can produce strawberries in the greenhouses that we have, and we'll have sugar, and we'll have water, so we could do strawberry sorbets like we did on Fierfelden and um, strawberry jam that might be another option right so here we are in town just parked up the sprayer while I was busy rambling on about uh, things that we might do just parking my mate the, the garage owner forecourt and head off over to the bank go and speak to the bank manager and I'm not here cap in hand this time I'm here to pay off some of the loans won't be all but maybe we can pay off the first couple yeah so we pay off the 132 and the 170 
we'll still have uh, over 700, 750,000 outstanding, but it's a start. So let's pay the 130,000 off, make the payment, and we'll pay off the 170,000. That's pretty good, so at least we reducing the reducing our liabilities. Yeah, so we still have the two big loans. Well, the one loan that's the same as the others and the one really big one to pay off. But that's gonna reduce our monthly outgoings, which is nice. Jump back in here and we'll go and pick up the mayonnaise, I think. There should be some there. Not sure how much. There should be a, a few pellets. And we know that's always good income. So we're down to 149,000 after that. So quite big outgoings this this month so far. This was a good chunk on the uh, on spraying units, and then there was over three hundred thousand paid back on the loans. So that's good. Let's pick these up. It looks like there's four. I don't think there's any more than that. Just hang around a bit just to make sure. No, I don't think so. Right. Then we can go, I can see there's some products outside the dairy, so we'll go back and pick those up. Take it all up to the farm shop. Get it sold there. Good stuff. So I wonder if we can, I must look at to see whether we can, we produce a lot of butter. There's no way we can adjust the, I don't think there is, we can adjust the production. What I might do is I might stop the butter production and see if the cheese production increases. Right, I'm not going to put the cheese into the pizzeria this time around. We'll sell that. We need some cheese out at the farm shop. Here we are back at the farm. Let's get this delivered. See how much we make out of the slot. drive into the into the furniture <laughs> yeah, it's a reasonable amount for that still got more better to come off yeah, we can't complain about that but the mayonnaise this should bring in a reasonably good amount there we go. So we're back to way over 200,000, nearly 300,000. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs>